Well, good evening, everyone. How are you today on this beautiful evening of October 12th, 2022? How are you this evening? Are you doing all right? Is everything okay? Oh, wow. Mm, 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 mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for everybody that is just doing all right. Because it is hard to just feel like you are doing all right these days. But you know what? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Huh? Somebody is not doing okay. Well, what's going on? Oh, man. You know what? You know what? Let's just stop right here. There's a cure for you not doing okay. And I want to tell you, the cure is Jesus Christ. Take it to the Lord in prayer and wait patiently, patiently now. For him to work things out on your behalf. And you will see that he is for you and not against you. But you got to hold on and just be patient. All right? It's going to be okay. Welcome back to the channel here at D Space 4 Space U where the name is apt to change because I really don't like it. I'm going to change it someday. I just don't know when. But for now... Let's get into this, shall we? The other day, I did a video. I was led to do a video that, yet again, I thought that it was something that was just on my own mind, that maybe I just started thinking about these things on my own, and I'm like, okay, let me just do a video. Because I said in the video that, I was just winging it for the day because, you know, I hadn't been back on YouTube because I've been waiting for the Lord to give me a um, a topic to talk about. So I guess in my heart, I felt like maybe he was taking too long. Lord, forgive me. Maybe I felt like he was taking too long. And so I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and just do a video. Okay. Okay. So I titled it a thief in the night, but this is not why I'm telling you about that. The title I'm telling you about the title, because in that particular video, before I got to that part of the message, you know, I said, I'm just winging it and I'm really not, um, you know, I really didn't have anything specifically to talk about, really. And then before I closed on the video, I said, you know, um, I'm waiting to see whether or not the Lord has put this on my heart, you know, to confirm that, you know, this is truly coming from him for me to do this video. All right. Anyway, in that video, I was talking about how these days people are just, I don't know, just people are just, I don't know, tired. People are just to the point where they just, you know, don't care anymore. All right. Like every job. Like, you, on every job, you got people that just half-step. They are just ev on every job. I call them riffraff, okay? I'm guilty. I'm guilty because, you know, there have been jobs where I was just riffraff, okay? Just riffraff. And then I think that was probably because when you when I started a, a new job, then... You know, and you, you know, I'm doing good on the job. You know, the boss likes me and all that. And then it just seems like the riff raft that was there before me, you know, they don't want me to, to just keep it clean cut and kosher and all that. And then, you know, then it just, that, that, that thing going down jumps on me. So, yeah. Yeah, so riffraff, that's what I was talking about. People are just half-stepping more and more these days. To, and it's, I think it's because of this era that we're in now with this whole, you know, the whole pandemic 
era that we are in. You know, for these last few years, people have just gotten just sick and tired and just overwhelmed and just feeling like, oh my goodness, what is going on? Like, I don't know. It just seems like it's like this physical, I don't know, maybe not, maybe even, yep, it's a physical like thing that's just just coming over people like it's and it's a spiritual thing that is coming over people and just I don't know people are just overwhelmed anyway so okay I'm just gonna stop there the reason why I'm talking about that is because I was wondering if like I said is this something that I'm just doing on my own or is the Lord giving me confirmation is, is the Lord putting it on my heart for me to do this video and I'm talking about my last video so today I was just scrolling on YouTube and I came across a video and I, when I saw that video I said thank you Lord Jesus because I've been waiting for him to show me that he has been using me and again on that particular video he used me for that video and um oh my goodness oh my God in Jesus precious holy name this lady on a video it was a short she said, you know what? I'm just tired. Like, you know, I'm ready for just all of this to be over. Now, I'm not quoting it exactly the way she was saying this stuff because I kind of really can't remember. But I'm going off of what I was thinking in my mind according to what it was she was saying. Like, I was, I was feeling her, you know. So, I'm just going to, I'm giving you... Um, my imagination of um, what she was, you know, I, I'm just saying it my way. So she basically was like, you know what? I'm tired. You know, like, tired of working. Oh, my goodness. Things going on. She was like, you know what? I'm just ready for this whole uh, the, for the world to end. If the world is gonna, if the Lord is gonna let the world end, bring it. If it's gonna be destroyed or by fire, bring it. You know, I'm just tired. Like I'm, I'm just tired. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tired. And I admired her in that video. Like she was using foul language and everything. And I, hey. Let me tell you something. I cannot judge because I have an issue. Lord, the Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. So pray for me because I haven't gotten to the point when I'm like stark raving mad and I don't um, sin. Yeah, it's like that. And I pray that I'm not giving over to a reprobate mind. I, I pray that I don't get stuck in this, Lord, because I'm, I'm, I need up out of that. Anywho, so... The reason why I admired her is for, for that video is because that's what I'm talking about. It's exactly what I'm talking about. People are just overwhelmed. This whole pandemic era has overwhelmed us. And you know what? The, the really sad part, the really scary part is that we haven't even seen anything yet. According to the word of God, according to the book of Revelation, we haven't even seen anything yet. We haven't even seen anything yet. But I'm here to encourage everybody. All right? Don't give up. If Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, hallelujah and thank you, Jesus. And if he is not your Lord and Savior, please take this moment now while you still have breath and accept him as Lord and Savior of your life. Repent of your sins. Believe the gospel, which is the, the, the virgin birth, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Surrender your heart unto him and live the rest of your life for him. Let him, let his blood that he shed on the cross cover your sins. That way when you die or when your time is up on this side of life, you will inherit 
eternal life. You will gain eternal life in Jesus Christ. Okay. Do that today. And so my encouragement is I know the things that are going on. Like it is very overwhelming. Like I said, I, I said a joke about the, the, the hamburger where people are just getting to the point where, you know what, every job is just, people are like, I want to say half-stepping, but really when you think of it, that people are probably even doing more than, they're, they're doing less than half-step. No, 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 no. They are doing more than half-stepping. You know, people are just, uh... Okay, I'm just going to stop there. The reason why I'm saying this is because John 9 verse 4 states, it reads, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. So in other words... Just keep on pushing. Don't quit. Don't give up. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing, okay? Don't let the enemy distract you so much or or discourage you so badly that you give up and you just quit, all right? And I'm talking about anything in life because the night cometh when no man can work. So do the Lord's business and don't quit. Do it while it is still day, while you still have breath, in other words, because the end is going to come eventually and probably sooner than all of us think. And when it gets here, it's not going to have any favorites. God will have his favorites and those are the ones that follow him unto death that they will gain eternal life. But the rest, you know, the end is not going to have any favorites, you know, and eternity is forever and ever and ever. And when your time is up here on this side of life, what you want is eternity, eternal life in Jesus Christ and not eternal death because eternal life means you made it to glory where there's no more tears. If there are tears, they're tears of joy. There's no more hunger. There's no more pain. No more sorrow, no more anything, just, oh my goodness, that's where you want to go. But eternal death is hell and someday the lake of fire and burning in the lake of fire for eternity. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Do it now. Serve him while it is yet still day. Serve him. This one lady, I seen a video of her. She was like, give give the hugs. Give, Give the money to people in need. Smile for people. You know, you know, talk with people, understand what people are going through, show sympathy, show love, you know, and she was just going on and on and on. Like, in other words, let the light of God shine through you. Let the light of God shine through you so brightly and let it keep shining brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter until your time is up on this side of life. That you will gain your reward and you will see and you will be with Jesus Christ face to face. You know, I I just bit my tongue when I say that. But it's the truth though. If you make it to glory, you will be walking with the Lord. You will have access to him every day. You can spend time with him. You can talk to him personally every day. 
Oh my Lord Jesus. You can see your family that you never met before. See families and loved ones that you knew while, you know, before their time was up that they might have made it to glory. And oh, it would just be love and joy everlasting forever and ever and ever. That's where you want to go. So surrender your heart now. Do it now. I know I just keep repeating it over and over again, but I can't express it enough. How about that? I can't express it enough. Just how much you want to give your life to Jesus now while you still have breath and serve him while you can. Serve him all the way up until you can't serve him anymore. Just do it. Because there is somebody out here that is in desperate need of you letting your light or God's light shine through you so brightly that that bright light may attract them and lead them to repentance of their sins, belief in the gospel, and surrendering their hearts to Jesus Christ, being baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Let your light shine. Don't quit. Don't quit because if you quit, then you're giving the enemy just what he wanted. See, that's what he wants. We got to keep fighting the good fight of faith. Don't give up. It can be very frustrating. But don't give up. Don't give in. If anything, take it to the Lord in prayer. Run to the Lord in prayer. Bow down to the Lord in prayer. Kneel to the Lord in prayer. Cry to the Lord in prayer. Oh, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Give it to Jesus and let him work it out for you. But whatever you do, don't quit. Don't quit. All right. Till next time. (laughs) I love you. Shalom.